I did not even know that this was the game they were releasing. Because they announced it so fucking long ago. I remember seeing it when they first announced it. And I didn't think it was going to happen because I haven't heard anything about it forever. So, I mean, I guess I'm glad it came out. Two game. Okay. Sure. Gearbox as well. Okay. Violence and inequality. <laughs> Self harm, gore, physical and emotional distress. Rich narrative about found family and perseverance. Some scenes may be distressing to some players. More information about this game and its contents can be found at esrb.org. The content warning, babe. <laughs> may emotionally harm me. Or I could have seizures. Whatever. Think you've seen it all, huh? Think you know all there is to know about Vault Hunters, Bandits, Corporations, and Nobody Loser Types? Well, you don't know Skag Diddly. Take Promethea, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malawan Corporation. The rival Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese Strongfork, the big shot CEO with the regrettable mustache, is scrambling. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. And into this pressure cooker steps... Dr. Anuradha Dar, genius inventor, socially awkward, uh, do-gooder type. She works for Atlas, been tinkering with a big, award-winning idea. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dar, Meridian City's most well-known man, at least in his own mind. He's convinced his big break is just around the corner. And... Fran Miskowitz, purveyor of Reese Strongfork's favorite Froger flavor. She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Yet. You're free now. Go, go. Run, run. Oh no, not the monkeys. There's space monkeys everywhere, man. Morning. 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 
Good morning. Huh? Seriously. Again? Again? Yep. yep. Another busy day. day. Work, work, work. Am I right? By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multi-phasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Ani, the ultimate Siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear, and I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite siren, Lily. R.I.P. Pong. <laughs> I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change the world. For the better. Imagine. A way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I faced away. And also, and also where they go. And also, and also what, happens what happens to them? Simple. Simple. Interdepartmental Inter demonstration is scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Dr. Anuradha Dar, signing off. Oh, snap. Two weeks? Two weeks? Really? really? It's, it's going to be going ready, to ready by, then? by then? You, you always, always seem so hesitant, hesitant to put a timeline, timeline on this bad voice, so you know, so you know two, weeks? two weeks? Wow. wow. It is. It is. Or it, or it will be. be. Surely, Surely two weeks two is enough weeks time for a huge, huge breakthrough, break right? right? Probably, Probably. Right? right? Sure? sure. I, should I should have said three, three months. months. What was I thinking? Was I thinking? All I've got All to do is just, just figure, figure out the out next steps. Step. That's it. There's, There's got, to got, to got to be something I'm missing. I'm missing. Figure it out with, like, your like intuition, intuition or, or with your tech goggles. I would like to think both. Maybe start with the tech goggles, though. There's, There's a, button a button on the side. Okay, goggles. Let's, Let's try, try a diagnostic. Yeah. So, so for starters, oh, I should probably put an actual power in there, huh? Be up here. You needed the goggles for that. Sec. No, no. Where did I put that iridium ore? Okay. What you got here? I want that. It'd be great if you found that iridium ore because you're the only person who knows where it is. Now that now I look at the Jabberman translator with fresh eyes, I realize I may have made a miscalculation in the translation matrix. For all I know, they could have been spouting philosophy.
Would a clearer headed Anu have stored the iridium in here before calling it tonight? Would a clearer headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? Better grab some money for lunch while I've got this bad boy unlocked. Did you say lunch? You buy it? Hmm. That bitch said I'm hungry too. Fong, do you happen to have the iridium ore in your pocket? What? No. no. Of course not. not. Why would Why I keep would iridium, I iridium in my pocket? In my pocket? Your, Your pocket, pocket just seems full. full. <laughs> oh. Don't get Don't cheeky, get cheeky with, me, with me, boss. Not, not enough you mean. What? What? No. no. You know, yeah. being absent-minded, messy, yeah. and disorganized are signs of a genius. In the toolbox, tool maybe? maybe? May contain an iridium shard. My trusty, trusty tools. tools. So, so much, much potential for science and these simple implements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, no, really? really? Of ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. But, bro. Like it's, like it's singing. singing. Like a like siren, siren song. song. It's the it's sound, sound of a successful, of a successful invention. invention. One that One finally gets us, gets us out of trouble, trouble with restrong work. One, that, One changes that changes the world. The world. Just picture Just it, Fong. We are on we the are cusp on of a world, world with less, less bloodshed. bloodshed. Where we, Where we use, use innovation, innovation and, technology and technology to help people and protect, protect life, not, not casually destroy, destroy it as a matter of course. course. Like, 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 don't you, don't know? you know? I know, I know. like profit-focused like, warmongers with, with no moral compass beyond, beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. Word. AKA, AKA Atlas's, Atlas's motto. motto. No cruelty, no, no killing, killing, no, no compromise. compromise. You're a revolutionary, You're a revolutionary boss. Ooh, are we rising up yet? <laughs> Not that Not kind that of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't, Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business. 
In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that the next revolution. Timmy, that's reprehensible. It is? Yes. yes. I'm reprehensible? You are you a profiting off suffering excites you. Oh. I'm learning so much today. Right. right. Anyway, anyway, are you here for something in particular, to Timmy? Timmy? Yes, please. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strongfork to inquire why our company's test subjects are so liberated. I'm sorry. Test subjects? The Jabbers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Jabbers are loose. Again. Huh. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. Oh. Your editorial staff is prepping for what I like to call Gold Jabber Jabber Talk. Why would I know that? What even what makes you think, think I have anything to do with it? I'm not the only one that works in this lab. What? What? Slag off. off. That soup's uncool. Oh, Dr. Dar. Dar. We know it was you. But you have no proof. The thing is, every use of credentials to access a security feature is locked. We have a record of your ID being used to open the cages. Someone else could have grabbed it. The other thing is, our security surveillance system filmed you doing it. Yeah. If it's any consolation, the footage from this incident was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the jabbers those other times. Don't they deserve to be free? Oh, I'm not authorized to dispense ethical judgments about Atlas policies. Well, now that we've got that straightened out. Ah, Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see you. The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh, what is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Not that you deserve my help after throwing me under the bus, but you probably shouldn't go in empty-handed, you know? Right. Sorry, and... Right. UK Games presents a Gearbox software game. So it's not, it's not a fucking. It's not a Telltale Games game like the first one was. This one's actually Gearbox. Hey, Papa Gerardi, I can smell your space calzones from here. That's interesting. Ah, thanks. Uh, I, I need a new name for them. Might also need to stop doing that problematic accent. Yeah, I, I know. Hmm. Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing straight fire. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Jesse, how's it hanging, dude? Oh, uh, you know what? Tavio's brand new day. Filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. Hmm. New Aquarex, who it is? <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's Razor. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? Do they come in my favorite flavor? Please don't say. You're such a mooch. I'll see you there. I'll take you. Jeez. 
I anticipated your arrival and have them waiting in a location that would not have shut others. Stop. <laughs> looming, Louis. You're always You're looming. In places. I am not looming. I am simply standing. No, this. This, what you're doing right here. This is definitely looming. Notice my body posture? Imposing presence? If you say so. <laughs> if you say so. The robot's a smart ass. Oh, Louie. You appear stunned. Did you doubt my ability to purchase this periodical? Or do you fear its contents? Yeah, sorry. This issue always makes me a little nervous. Come on, come on! Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. Again! Have you accomplished some extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list? I survived Malawan's invasion, and I like to think that my social influence has kept the city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. Even if I didn't care, everyone else does, which makes it important. It's my only hope of breaking into the business world. Seeking the approval of others seldom leads to happiness. How would you know? You're an assassination bot. Trained in how to hurt people. What does that have to do with you? You seek outside approval because you hate yourself. <laughs> Perhaps you are disappointed, but look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Livington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. You, however, are not on this list. You're anonymous, unrecognized, a noble. This is beneficial for your survival. But not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty, anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on here? No. That's good. I I'll have one. Heart and soul. Can five lifelong ambition to be on this list, and you act all superior robot on me. But I am a superior robot. I have killed 963 people. You have killed no one. I have diminished my potential. It's not that I couldn't kill. I could, if that's what it took. Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job, with money. Your various business concepts like finance, marketing, public appeal. Kidding! I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. You just got Octavio. Interesting phrase. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Well, that's kind of my thing, but... Now, on to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two ion slugs into their brain. You know how to talk. You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. Hell yeah. I love helping you with your work. Plus, I love money. We all love money. Whatever it takes to get my business off the ground. Do you actually have an idea for your business? I'm working on it! Ninety one. 
Let's get to work. Thank you, sponsor bot. Thank you, sponsor bot. As soon as the insurance money comes in, this place will look good as new. Fix this place up, I'll have TDR paid back quicker than a t -t 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 reload. Some guns reload very slowly. Thanks for reaching out, sponsor bot. You're my rock. It's a bad metaphor. If you're going to do metaphors, be better at them. Oh, connection's gone poorly. Can't hear you. Talk later. Everything is going to be just fine. My new slaughter romantic combat vegetable knife slices artichokes as easily as art. <clears throat> We're not We're no open yet. And Lord. How's business How's treating business you, handsome? Not bad. If there's two <laughs> things you can count on for me for buying, buying, it's bullets and brew. Place looks as charming as ever. I thought the insurance money was supposed to come through by now. Claims guys coming by today, they've been jerking me around, saying I have to pass some sort of final interview to get my cash. <coughs> How dare they not trust a kind old lady like you? Want me to shoot them? It's been a while since I shot anyone. A week, at least. Still, I'm a steady trigger. So long as I've got some caffeine in me. Yeah, go for it. There are precious few problems a couple of well-placed bullets can't solve. They teach you that in the military? If by teach, you mean repeatedly scream at me, and if by military, you mean mom, then yes. Right. Well, just well, tell me who to shoot and where to shoot, shoot them, and I'll have it done by end of business today. Thanks for Thanks this, for by the by. Same these. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Looks like the Looks morning, like morning rush, rush has arrived. I'm out here. All right, all right, all right. Time to make the progress. Welcome to Franz Frogers. What can I get you today, hi? Uh, a large peanutty buddy with sprinkles. Here you go, sweet eye. Whoa, this looks incredible, friend. I know, babe.
Welcome to Mr. Sternberg's office. Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. Apologize for the jobbers. Won't more happen again, sir. You cannot lose this job. My idea is a paradigm shift. One that could help Atlas beat the competition. Yeah, that sounds great. Convincing. Job saving. Right? Dr. Dar, I'll see you now. Dr. Dar? Unfreaking oh, believable! <laughs> Uh, is everything all right? Because I can come back if... No, no, no. Everything's fine. It's fine. I just got outbid again on an ultra-rare zero vault lander's figure. Again. It's an investment. You know, you know, you know what? Forget it. No, never, never mind. Just, just come on in. Have a seat. Thanks for coming Thanks for up on such short notice, but I figured I ought to just set a meeting as quickly as possible so we can touch base on the issue of... You keep releasing jammers on the ship! Again! You've got to stop doing that. And also, we're in space. We're all contained animals up here, Dr. Dar. Honestly, sir, I think this has all just been one big misunderstanding. Oh, yeah? Crazy! Crazy. <laughs> Let's just get this all sorted out then. So silly of me. Yikes. Did you not release a lab full of jabbers? Again? No. No. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, you did! You cost me a fortune! Do you have any idea? Any? I have guys in R&D working on cold fusion powered giant robots who spend less money than you wasted on freeing animals from their cages. And iridium ore. Oh my god! The iridium ore! If I'd seen any evidence at all, a shred, that you had been using that iridium ore to make something that, you know, we could sell or patent or eat, I wouldn't care, but... Now that... There's a pretty interesting little gun there, huh? Look at it all gun shaped. This is no gun, no gun Mr. Strongfork. This is my device. Okay. This device. Device. This device is going to achieve something no one ever has. Something no one has come close to. Replicating the powers of a siren with the pull of a trigger. Now that's a pitch. Keep going, keep going. I'm serious. I'm serious. This, this is, exciting. is exciting. The cold the fusion cold robot guys, guys, they give a fun presentation, but it's always, you know, a little, a little much. Think about it. Can you afford not to develop this technology? Oh, God, can I? Can you? I don't know. Okay. okay. Decent pitch. I give it a C minus. Enough to not get you fired. Yet. So, so, I'm gonna need a demonstration to see what this adorable little game changer of yours can do. Absolutely, sir. If you have space in your schedule in two weeks' time. No, I meant now. There's no time like the present, right? So, present. But I haven't. It hasn't. It's in progress, and. It doesn't do anything, does it? No, no, it, it does. Just let me explain. Oh, by all means. And by all means, I mean this had better be really, really good or you're fired. It's an energy manipulator designed to move any tangible subject through space-time. Move through. Transport, yes. It's a phase walk gun? It's a phase walk device. A phaser. 
A phaser. A totally non-lethal, utterly decisive way to end any conflict. Wait, wait. Non-lethal? Yes. Yes. <coughs> so, to clarify, you spent all the money and the money resources, resources at your disposal, your disposal that I that gave you from my disposal, disposal to build a gun that does, that does not, not kill people? I built, I built a, a device, device, gun, gun. Device, device that doesn't that does kill, it just sends people on a little vacation. A vacation to death? No, just <laughs> they literally think it. Our oh. customers don't want to send people on vacation. They want to send them to death. Okay, okay. You know whose voice that is? Show me. Show me or put it on the desk. Cyril, thank you. I, I, I think you're really going to like this, sir. I am waiting to be. <laughs> Timmy scream too. Bring it back. Uh, bring uh, Sasha, Sasha and Tiny Reef back. back. Uh, that was a custom a figure, figure. And the only the picture of Sasha, Sasha that I had. Had. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Impressive. impressive. It's very, very impressive. impressive. Now, now, you know. You know Reverse face. <laughs> Unzap. De, De eliminate. eliminate. Bring, Bring it back. back. There's no There's reverse, reverse switch, switch, sir. It, it only does the one thing. So far. so far. It's a prototype. Well, where the hell did it send my stuff? I, uh, do not know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, so it's just, just, just gone? gone. Maybe, Maybe I can ask I can Fiona. Ask Fiona. Maybe, Maybe I can find Fiona. Mr. Stromberg! See you the Atlas Company. I am your assistant. Uh, yeah, uh, Timmy, I know. Then now is my time to shine! Hold up, bros. This is more of a movie than a game. Mm -hmm.